Canva is an online image editing platform that lets you create graphics and edit photos rather easily. But its paid subscription is the one that's the real deal. My name is Yadullah. You are watching Candid.Technology and in this video we are talking about some free Canva alternatives that you can try out without hurting your wallet. Snappa is one of the most lightweight Canva alternatives that you can start using right now. It has a ton of templates. So as you can see, this image is for an Instagram post that I took from a template in uh, Snappa. And uh, it doesn't have as many function as many features as Canva does. It's very simple, very basic. So you can, uh, we basically get five tabs. Uh, we start with background. So you can upload a custom photo, use a pattern or an image. Uh, let's say I want to use this image. And uh, once you're set with the image, you can head over to the effects panel and you can apply some basic uh, effects to your image. So I can apply this blur and dark and to make my text more reachable, uh, readable, you can adjust the hue, saturation, brightness and contrast. And then you can also add in a color overlay which in this case is blue but you can of course go ahead add your custom color if you want choose the popular ones or uh, let's just go with this for the time being so that's your background and effects sorted next up we have text uh, once again very simple uh, has a fair bit of fonts so a lot of font options available there works the same way as canva you just select a font add a text and then basically do whatever you want with it you have letter spacing and line height options available to you and uh, that's about it for graphics you get four options so icons vectors photos and uploads uh, once again you can upload custom graphics here vectors are not uh, expansive as canva is once again the library isn't as expansive as canva uh, same goes for shapes but this is a very simple no nonsense online video uh, photo editor slash content creator tool that you can use if you're not into Canva. Next up, we have PicMaker. It requires you to log in and once you're logged in and into the main dashboard, it looks very, very much like Canva and the features are also in line. So if I open this template and wait for it to load, it takes a while. So it's not quite as fast as Snappa is, but you do get a lot of features. So uh i am starting with uh, let's say this template oh wow it requires a pricing plan so i picked a premium template there yeah let's use a free one mm, no i do not want to take a tour yes i want to cancel the tour all right so you get uh, basically what you do in canva in a different layout so uh, you can have your brand kit here you can upload files you can add text which works in a very similar manner to canva so you can bring in custom text templates change them to whatever you want have your designs running like that and the feature parity between PicMaker and Canva is very, very low. So it works in a very similar manner. You also have a lot of AI power tools, but before we get into this, let me show you the objects. So this is the elements section from Canva where you get uh, shapes, emojis, stickers, you get icons that you can use in your designs. And then you can get packs for icons, which uh, definitely uh, add, give you more assets to work with, but you're going to have to buy these. Other than that, when it comes to effects, you basically see the same effects that you do in Canva. This is very much a Canva clone, which is designed to be a little bit more lightweight. Uh, you have your design variation feature, which is uh, powered by Mad AI. Then of course you get your fonts, colors, and images on this section as well. Once you head over to app, you can see that you can import pixels from Pexels, Pixabay, Unsplash, Google Drive, Dropbox, and you can even generate a QR code and that's about it. It doesn't have the AI features that make Canva great, but other than that, it's a pretty good solid Canva alternative and the pricing is only slightly cheaper than what you would get at Canva. Next up, we have what is possibly one of the best free AI powered photo editors and creating tools online, which is PixelR. Uh, as you can see, you, there is a photo editor, an, an AI photo editor, designer for templates and animations, removing backgrounds using AI and things like that. 
so uh, let's go ahead with the ai photo editor and uh, this is an image that i generated within pixlr so you can use pixlr's free ai generation tool ai image generation tool to create images and once you're there you will find that a lot of the things that make canva great such as background arrangements croppings cutouts image adjustments and filters are all available within pixlr as well another good example of where you can use pixlr is if you go back to the home page so there are different tools that are available in just one account so if we head over to pixlr designer this is where you'll see the canva likeliness show up let's go ahead and start the template um, tech events sure why not um, yeah here we are and submit use template it's going to take a minute to load up and now you're in the editor tool let's head over to the design panel so as you can see you can smart resize you can change background or you can uh, access other templates uh, the text section lets you add preset text designs or you can just create a new text uh, which is going to be very simple uh, so let me just delete this text uh, okay can i delete this no okay so oh yeah delete uh, so that text is gone the shortcut key wasn't working for some reason and uh, if i add new text uh, as you can see works very similar to canva you don't have to learn anything new this is a new text go back and save it and as you can see this is your text editing box you have your transform tools uh, name of the particular layer so you have fill sizes li sizes line spacing letter spacing curve or background outline and shadow options as well so a little bit more play room to work with text as long uh, as long as text is concerned compared to canva uh, media is your standard icons photos packs or vectors anyone that you want to use and then of course there is an animate tag if you want to there's an animate section if you want to add animations to your posters or make them sort of dynamic but other than that it's a very simple easy to use editor for such things so pixlr is great for that of course there's a premium version as well which uh, lets you gives you more access to ai features like image generation generative fill and so on and so forth and that is also great so that brings it brings it equal to canva but even if you're using the free version the ai generation uh, especially the ai image generation is far far better than canva one more thing you can do is you can make these apps available offline so you can use them without an internet connection as well if you're looking to use ai features with a canva like interface photor is one of your best options as you can see there are tons of uh, generative ai and photo and video editing options available when it comes to AI options um, and of course uh, if you scroll down below you will also see templates for YouTube, channel arts, cards, posters, Facebook posts, mobile wallpapers and whatnot. So let me just show you all of the templates that are available in here. So if you open this up as you can see in a very similar manner to Canva you have templates that are free, templates that are paid. So if I were to open this one um, you will see a very intuitive and a very an interface that you already know what it is so as you can see elements is basically what canva would offer so you have your lines arrows shapes and then you can search for whatever elements you want uh, here are your uploads so you can upload specific files and get whatever you want with them text also works the same way that canva does you can bring in individual text headings change the font set different alignments font alignments line spacing and everything else of the sort works the same way as well and then of course we have photos so you can uh, generate them using ai or you can use any of the photo library images that are available here um, then there is the background uh, which is the same thing you can either ai create one or use any of their already existing backgrounds in here and then there are extensions so the AI image generator, we've already talked about it. And then there's a charts extension that lets you visualize data in all different sorts of ways. And then of course you can um, access tutorials, see shortcut keys, hide reference lines and so on and so forth. So 
um editing in photor is also practically identical to canva you can move around your images they automatically align there are buttons you can select multiple items move them in a go uh what photor does is provides a slightly better user interface and a slightly faster user interface it feels snappier because it isn't as clunky as canva has become but uh, you will have to sort of get through and start using this as your primary editor to be able to figure out everything else is uh, of course there are some other tools as well there is a graphics designer there is a photo editor a collage maker and quick actions like background remover profile pic e-commerce pic coarts presentations and sdr the major difference between photor and canva here would be that uh, canva kind of blends all of its tools into one graphics designer while photor and all of the other tools on this list or in this video will let you access tools individually so you don't have to go create a design and then work that way last but not least we have adobe express which is um, adobe's sort of answer to canva uh, once again it's a free tool to use with a bunch of generative ai features so you can you get generative fill you get text to templates you get text effects that you can apply with just a text prompt and you can of course generate images as well it also offers a dedicated image resizer uh image background remover and it lets you convert gifs to mp4 resize videos merge videos and so on and so forth so while it isn't quite as feature rich in functionality when it comes to canva adobe's generative ai features are easily the best so as you can see you can just start generating text to image or text to templates right here text to template is a feature that's exclusive to adobe express Uh, powered by Adobe Firefly, which is also the same AI model that powers all of the AI features that you see in Photoshop or Premiere Pro, and so on and so forth. So, if you were to let's say make a social media post, uh, of course you get to see all of these different templates and different sizes. So, let's create a YouTube thumbnail. You click create now. It takes a time to load up the editor, and uh, there is the same old layout that we've all come to be used to. So of course I can just use a template and now I can edit things I can edit my text I can move around individual elements change them I can add corner roundness border thickness and uh, different things I can adjust this text to be exactly in center that's not exactly in center that's better yeah So you get features like that. Uh, once again, the UI, in my opinion, is better than Canva, and it also feels a little bit more snappy. Uh, of course, the uh, generative AI elements uh, or the generative AI features are the main selling point of Adobe Express because they just they just better and they work faster. The generation is also often on point. Uh, num Pixel R would come number two right after Adobe Express, but still they're both better than Canva. You see all of your layers here. You can do whatever you want with the text. You can add say, um, circle, arch, or bow layouts. Once again, this is a more intuitive layout than Canva because a lot of these features in Canva are sort of tucked away and can be difficult to find. Um, regardless, you don't need to buy premium to try any of these features or use any of these features. You can just open Adobe Express and start using it as you would normally. If you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you If you want to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video